All right, so let's talk about uploading a digital product to your shop. So digital products are like ebooks, audio files, um, graphics, digital artwork, workbooks, anything that's um, an actual digital product versus a physical one. So just so you know, um, before you set up your digital product, you can't sell digital products as subscriptions on Squarespace as of now, and there aren't variants for digital products. So just keep those in mind and we'll get started. So we'll hit digital and you're going to follow the same pattern as you did with uploading a physical product. So we're gonna add in our digital product name. So this is going to be called DIY Your Website Workbook. And then we're gonna add in our description. So uh, workbook description goes here. And then I'll just follow the same, you know, features of the workbook. And then we can add in a bulleted list, feature one, feature two, feature three. We can go ahead and add in those um, image variants or just different images of the um, actual, whatever the digital download is. So let's see. I'll do these two here. Those will upload. And then we wanna make sure that we add in the alt text. So it's going to be just like we did with the physical products. So if we hover over the product image and they uploaded in the order I wanted them to. So if we hover over the product image, we click this little cog, we can add in that keyword rich image title. So DIY your website workbook. Let's just put Squarespace websites. I'll hit save and we'll pretend like I did that for the other product. Next, we will go to pricing. So pricing and upload. You'll have to actually upload the digital file here. So if I click that, um, let's see, the workbook is right here. So I'd go ahead and upload it. And then we can add in our price if we have a sale price for it. And then if it's actually on sale or not. So we'll say the price is 10, the sale price is seven, and it's not on sale. So we'll leave that unchecked. We'll head over to additional info. Um, again, this is a great spot for related products. So if I have other workbooks that I wanna showcase, we can add those in here. Again, that's in a later lesson, so I won't go through that right now, but um, disclaimers, anything like that. If you wanna talk about um, what the rules are for when you purchase this digital download, so you're not allowed to share it with anybody, copyright um, policies, all of that can go right here. If you want to have a form for the digital product, you can add that in as well. So a form that the customer has to fill out before they actually purchase it um, and add, add it to their cart. This is not something I think I see myself or I see people using for digital products. I couldn't think of a good example to give, um, but the option's there. Speaking of options, we'll head over to that and we'll add in our thumbnail image. So. Let's see, I want the dual one there, so that'll upload. The product URL will auto-generate with whatever the item title is, and I wanna keep it that way. We can add the custom um, add button label to whatever we want, so we can say download now if we want. And then, again, if I wanna push this to a social channel right away, I can toggle one of these on or off, so my LinkedIn or my Pinterest, I could hit save and publish, and it would automatically push it there. Um, so just to keep in mind, um, your digital product is going to be delivered to customers in, um, they'll, well, they'll have it on their order confirmation page. So as soon as they check out that digital product will be a link that they can download, but it will also be sent to them in an order confirmation email. Now that link will expire 24 hours after it's clicked. And that is to minimize the potential of that customer sharing your digital download to other people that haven't purchased it. It obviously doesn't eliminate that possibility, but it does minimize it a little bit. So that's it for digital products. It's a lot simpler to set up than physical products because you don't have those variants or anything like that. Um, but next we'll go into service-based products and how to set those up on your site.